Good morning. This is Pastor Bob. Welcome to our morning devotional. We're going to be in Romans chapter 8 and concentrate uh, really on verse uh, 15. But uh, uh, so let me read that to you. And we're going to be talking about our adoption and the benefits that we receive from adoption from God. For if you've received a spirit of slavery leading again to fear, you have received a spirit of adoption as sons, which cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness to our spirit that we're children of God. And if we're children, heirs also of God with Christ. And indeed, we suffer for him in order that we may also be glorified with him. Consider the sufferings of this world as... Uh, for this time, not worthy of the glory that will come for us in heaven. You ever really just sat and thought about the blessing of being adopted by God? That God has adopted us and he's given us a purpose for which to live. And uh, before we're adopted by God, we're under a, a different father and that's the devil running our lives and, and the flesh, our own strength. And with God, though, God um, gives us grace, gives us hope, and it comes as we place our face in him. It's such an encouragement, isn't it, to know that we're adopted by God through faith in Jesus Christ. But as we receive him, we receive that promise of eternal life. We also receive something else. We receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And, and this Romans chapter 8 is filled with that. I, I encourage you to read Romans 8 over and over again as it talks about the power of the Spirit working within us. And so uh, God encourages us through the Holy Spirit. He gives us a job to do in this world, to make a difference in this world. Uh, he helps us come to know him. As a gift of the Spirit. And he gives us the final gift of eternal life, of being in God's presence forever with him. Um, you know, if you just thought and just take a moment to think about your own salvation and what it meant to you to be adopted by God when we are far away from God. I know in my own family, uh, it was a difficult time growing up with my parents being alcoholics. And so um, our adult figures were not good ones. And then when Christ came into my life, I had that, that uh, sense of adoption into a new way of life from God. God guiding me and leading me. Doesn't God's grace, ju it's just unbelievable that we get the grace. It seems like we, we should be uh, beaten for all the bad things that we've done. But he gives us grace. He gives us love. He gives us care. He provides for us each day. Are you really praying and asking God, your Father, your Heavenly Father, to provide for you? He gives us hope for that eternal life in the future. But can you imagine on the other side of things, if, if we didn't have that promise, if we didn't have that hope, if, if we were not adopted by God, and, and I'm, I'm thinking about all the people in the world that, that don't have parents right now, or whose parents, like mine, were absentee parents. And maybe some of you out there have, have dealt with this, uh, where you felt like you didn't have a father or a mother. And many people are, are just on their own, trying to live life as children. And... Uh, so there's literally thousands, millions of kids in the United States that don't have parents. And I love the ministry that we have, the foster adopt ministry that we have that reaches out to these uh, children from babies on up that, that do not have what most of us have and have had in our lives, that guiding force, that parental force in our lives. And so uh, a part of what we're thinking about today is not only our own 
salvation and our own coming under the Father, the Heavenly Father. But thinking about the, the kids, the families around us where they don't have parents. And uh, one of our initiatives at the church during the Christmas season is what I think of as, as just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity that we have. And we are taking on as a project over Christmas to, to raise money for the Joy Meadows Foster Care. Uh, and what it does, is it not only allows one, one kid to live there, but also siblings. This is a big problem in the, in the, uh, it, in adoption that a lot of adoption agencies can't take on more than one child. And so they oftentimes separate families. And so Joy Meadows, the Joy Meadows group has, has, has come up with a plan where they're building houses where that would be conducive for, for more than one sibling in a family. And it's called the Joy Meadow Foster Care. And, uh, you're going to be hearing more and more about it in the church, but I wanted to to tag on to this this theme today of, of our adoption and how wonderful it has been for us in Jesus Christ to be adopted by Him and following Him and and listening to Him for guidance. But at the same time, this morning, as we as we we feel all the blessings of the adoption that we have through Christ. We think of the, of the literally millions of kids in the United States that do not have a parent, that do not have a home, that maybe even be living on the streets, that have been separated uh, from their loved ones, the ones that they do have, even that they don't have parents. And so we're, we're as a church praying that we'll be able to build one of these houses and it, it, it will cost us, you know, several hundred thousands of dollars to do this, but we believe that this is what God wants us to do. So you'll be hearing more and more and more about this in the near future. But uh, to kind of close out some of my thoughts about our adoption in Christ, uh, we can cry out to God at any time for his father for his fatherly advice in situations that we go to. So maybe you have situations like that right now. Call out to your Heavenly Father for advice. It, it's wonderful in the, in, as you read history in the Roman times that the Roman and the Roman and Greek civilizations that if people were adopted, they had the same uh, blessings that their parents did. They would, could literally inherit the fortune of their family. And uh, we have inherited a fortune, haven't we, in Jesus Christ? And so uh, we become heirs to the kingdom of God in our adoption. And as a result of that, we testify to the goodness of God and what God's plans are for our lives. And in this case, for us during this Christmas season, we're thinking about the many, many millions of kids today that do not have parents and need adoption and need a place to stay. The Spirit testifies with our spirit that we're children of God. We can sense that Holy Spirit at work within us telling us that we're His. And the Holy Spirit guides us and leads us and provides for us. So today, uh, we give thanks to God for our adoption and we pray that we'll be able to help in the adoption of other people, younger people that are in such great need right now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity we have today to once again think of this idea in Romans chapter 8 that we've been adopted through faith in Jesus Christ. And that is a wonderful thing and our lives are different because of it. But at the same time, our hearts go out to those who have not been adopted and do not have earthly parents now. God, that you provide for them and this, this uh, opportunity we have with the Joy Meadows group would, would come to fruition. But right now, God, we just ask you to help us to be thankful for all that we received from you and that adoption that, that leads us into eternal life, that gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. It gives us spiritual gifts to make a difference in this world, the leadership of the Spirit 
to be able to share and testify to Jesus. So God, we pray that you, you'd call us to direct our hearts towards you today and that we might be led by you in all we do. And we pray in this Christmas season that our hearts will be open to contribute to something as wonderful as this, uh, these homes that we're building. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.